Hi, I'm Barry. This is Mega City Gaming, and this is D100 Spoons. And this is a cup of tea. And this is a hood because it's a little bit cold this morning. And this is my day off. I literally don't have work today. Um, I cancelled my morning. <laughs> I want to play this. Uh, but I don't recommend cancelling work or school to uh, play games. Uh, you did not hear me say that. Anyway, I had a little bit rid of a read of the book. I don't have the book yet. I'm still waiting for it. I'm seeing all your Facebook posts saying that you've received the book and I'm jealous, coveting your books, I am. Um, so I got, last time, I think I got some crew, two bridge crew and two security. Uh, not very many at all, to be honest. Um, I should have just got five of something but anyway and i looked i wondered what bridge crew actually does and they don't do i i looked in the, the various tests and stuff and there's not they're not mentioned really i thought oh maybe i just wasted my money but no under where, where it talks about tech level uh, near the beginning of the book under the characteristics section um and it tells you how to calculate your control modifier it says you also get an extra point for every bridge crew that you have because they're helping you control the ship. Of course they are. So that would make my control modifier 27. So when I'm traveling in space, either jumping or space cruising, uh, my intelligence is 45 plus 27. 72. Boom! So I'm rolling 72 or under to succeed. Um, right. So I look, also did a bit of calculating in my noggin. Captain's noggin. Star date 552. Um, about what to do. Um, because I noticed, I've been looking at this, the star, I've been looking at the star chart in my cabin, captain's cabin, and uh, there are some huge distances, like if we look uh, between Opst and Jet, that's like 313, we can't travel that far. Even if we roll incredibly well, we're going to run out of fuel. Uh, and the same goes for Gangor to Kibrax or to Unx or to Elmstar. So we're basically trapped in the top left of the map, yeah, uh, which is fair enough. It means we need a better ship. That's what that means. Or an upgrade. Upgrades, I looked at the upgrade chart. Um, uh, modifications? Okay, modifications. So modifications, uh, best one's like 10,000 and it goes down to uh, mid range is 4,000 and it goes down to 1,000 right near the bottom. So we're gonna have to get, uh, our fuel module is only 10, I mean 1,000, sorry. That's quite low, roll. But well, we have to roll that, you know. We're much more likely to be able to get a better ship. So, yeah, fuel module plus 20 fuel. And also it slows us down. So it's minus 10, which means we're going to have to, uh, the jump speed is like minus 10, I think, each time. So, uh, that means we, we get, we're carrying more fuel, but we're jumping shorter distances. So we could just get a better ship. I think that would make sense. Just better. The ships are like looking at a starship. Yeah, shopping list. Um, so right now, what we've got now is a fast attack craft. 
which is 28,000. <clears throat> if we turn that in, um, Captain may buy and sell modification starships at the shipyard. Each starship has a maximum number of modifications. Blah, blah, blah. Captain may sell any number of modifications already fit to the starship for half the price shown on the table. Um, they may sell any towed starship for its recoded, for its value recoded on the log sheet. When buying, however, the star sh the captain must search the shipyard. Rolls uh, the rep value on the chart. Okay, no problem. If the captain is buying a new starship to replace their current one, they must sell all modifications fitted on their current starship. Okay, so we sell the mods for half of what we get before receiving half the current ship's value. Okay, so we can't transfer the mods, fair enough. Okay, and we get half the value of the mods and half the value of the starship. Right now we've got like a... Uh, sorry, <clears throat> captain's, captain's ship, captain's uh, ship captain, ship's cat, sorry, ship's cat number four. <clears throat> uh, so we've got faster scrap craft. So we get 40,000 for that. So we only need, because what I want, yeah, if I roll high on this table, I don't want to have to go, oh, I can't afford it. <clears throat> so I want at least 30, 35,000, yeah? I want at least 35,000. Right now we've got like 2,000 something, yeah? 2,000 and change. I want to have at least 30,000 before I roll on that chart. Because, you know, rolling on... Well, don't mind you. Let's say, let's say to be reasonable. I want... I want th 20,000 in cash. I want 20,000 in cash. Because then at least if I roll anything up to about 80, I might be able to afford it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I won't be able to refuel or anything like that. But uh, let's say 25,000 in cash. 25,000 in cash. Fine offer. Yeah, okay, so <clears throat> let's do some easy trading. Let's go back to art mode. So if I buy anything in Vinoir, uh, there's nothing in Vinoir that's worth getting unless I'm going to Impfar. And that would be food. Food to Impfar. Vinoir to Impfar food, 25. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, but then there's nothing in Infar that can be sold in Vinoir. Infar's, uh, yeah. So what I like to do is I like to go back. I mean, I've done this like a couple of times already, and it might be boring for you. So apologies. So I'm just going to do it once on screen and then do it a few more times to get some cash off screen um how about that that's fair enough i'll do it once on screen so you can see me maybe get attacked by space pirates if i do get attacked by space pirates uh while i'm not filming i will t <laughs> whoa i will press the record button sorry mate <laughs> cat is trying to sleep on the keyboard and that's not not cool. I mean, I I really respect the fact that he wants to sleep. 
because he doesn't do that uh, very often during the day. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. Without further ado, let's just travel to the Vinwar system. We've got max fuel. Uh, so 72 or less. We're going to jump to the Vinwar system. Sorry, Artmes system. Success. So, minus one power, minus six fuel, and we've traveled 55 light years. Right. And we're currently somewhere there. Right, let's try again. 72 or less. Yeah, thank, thank heavens for the bridge crew. It's another success. That's minus one power. Minus six fuel, brings down to 18. And we've traveled 110 now. And it's are these uh, counters are invaluable because I can't remember numbers. <clears throat> right, so we've got, we've traveled 110. We've only got like six light years to go. Let's do that. Come on, we're nearly there, crew. Come on. Success. Minus one power. And minus one fuel this time. And we're there, 116. Uh, we're now in the Artemis system. In, believe it or not, where are you, space map? We're at the entry point. And we've already got to really got to jump space crews once to get to the space station. If that is actually where, we, yeah, that is where we want to go. So, unless we could do some mining. How much is metal? Because essentially, we're just using power. We're just using power, aren't we, to mine, aren't we? Asteroid mining, minus one power, 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 power. You're just using power. It's going to cost me 50 to get port phase. Uh, and let's check. Trading guide and uh, no, cargo prices. Vinoir. I think it's metals and uh, minerals. Metals and minerals, is it? From uh, asteroids. Metals and minerals, yeah. So let's see what the prices are for metals and minerals in Vinoir. Right, actually, we get quite a lot, actually. 80 and 60, uh, whereas that's 80 and 60 per cargo space per ton. Whereas if we buy tech, if we buy a bunch of tech, that would be 45 profit per ton. But then we're using, well, that's 80 profit per ton. We're using, we're going to use like a load of power, maybe 200 power, uh, 200 credits worth of power, maybe. Maybe more. Plus docking to refuel, 250, that's 300. But still a tidy profit, I think. So let's do that. Let's go mining. What could go wrong? Should we, uh, we're not going to refuel first. Famous last words. We're going to jump to zone five. No. Yeah, zone five. Say so jump. We're going to space cruise to zone two first. Massive success. No! 
That's never an 80. Look at that. Is that 87? What? What? I guess. Yeah, and you can see my nice background. Look at that. Milky Way, that is. Um, okay, that's a failure. Anyway, according to the computer, computer says no. Computer says no. Which means uh, minus one power stay in zone. Okay, not too bad, I guess. It's not convenient at all, though. Success. Right, now we're in, now we're in zone. We are in zone two. It's minus one power. We're going to need that power. Going to need all that power. Going to need all the power. That is another success. Minus one power. Zone three. We're getting there slowly. Right. Let's do another one. That's another success. It's another zone. Inching closer. Right, last one. Make it a good one. Come on. Get this mining going on. No! Mine's on power and we're stuck. I say stuck, not stuck, but we didn't move. That's another failure. I'm wasting power. It's another failure. 81 that was. Three failures in a row. See, this is why we need a better ship. 72. 72. That is dead on success. Dead on success. All right, move there. Minus one power. All right, so we've got 14 power. We're going to need at least one, two, three to get back. So let's say six to get back. So we're going to do eight minings. <clears throat> Assuming. Um, uh, assuming, okay, if we screw it up, we minus two power. So anyway, mining ops don't have any of those. Those those are people, aren't they? they don't have any mining ops people. So it's a <clears throat> plus or minus DT as well. So. Drive thrusters. Okay, great, 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 great. So it's 82. 82 we're riding now. 82. It's a bit better. 82. Come on. Massive success. 82. So that's minus one power. D3. Let's get it in the right order. Minerals and D3 metals. So D3 minerals. One, put that in the cargo. Minerals, one. Metals uh, to be decided. Make it three, come on. Three. All right, now let's roll on that again and do some more mining. Uh, 80, 82 or less. Massive success. Minus one power. D3 minerals. Two. And D3 metal. There we go. That's more like it. Right, let's roll again, 82 or less. 
51, massive success. And D3, minus, uh, it's not too bad. And D3, metal. So another two, metal. It's eight. And I think our cargo limit is 30. Cargo space 30, yeah. All right, we're up to nowhere near that. So we're good. We're good. All right. 82 or less, come on. Success. Minus one power. One? What are the odds of that? No one knows. One again. Right, still doing okay for power. That's a success, minus one power. Yeah, whatever, whatever. This asteroid's a dirt. Yeah, it's a total dud, that one. All right, still doing all right for, for power just about. So let's, let's do a couple more and then we're done here. Yeah? <clears throat> all right. My, uh, so D3 minerals, up to nine, and D3 metal, <clears throat> 11 metal. So as we're going to have to dock, yeah, sorry about that, I had a gremlin all up in my throat. Right, uh, so as soon as we're going to have to dock to refuel, at the uh, space station, what's it called? Lunis station to refuel. That's going to cost 50. We might as well um, fill up the cargo hold with tech stuff. And uh, so our cargo hold will be full to the brim when we go back to Vinoir, hopefully. Uh, so <clears throat> let's do one more, maybe two more. Yeah, success, minus one power. And T3, minerals. One again. T3, metal. All right, at least it's not a one. All right, so we've got 23, we've got seven cargo hold spaces. Uh, I could push my luck and do one more. <clears throat> Let's do it. Yeah, fortune favours the bold. Famous last words. Let's do it. Thirty-eight success minus one power. And now we're really pushing our luck. Uh, all right, two minerals. And that slid across the table. That wasn't very good, was it? Yeah, sometimes this physics engine, I mean, it's good. But I couldn't do any better. And I really love it because it means I can play games like this uh, without having to worry about cats. I saw a picture on uh, Facebook of a, a cat threatening to, <laughs> to swipe this guy's miniature. Um, and m me having four cats, I, I feel, feel your pain. Although, yeah, definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, we're done. We're done mining. We're gonna head back. What could possibly go wrong? One, two, three jumps. Space cruises, right, space cruise number one, let's do it. 
Um, 72 is the uh, difficulty for this. Difficulty 72. Is that a crit? Uh, it's a crit. Oh. Intelligence test. It is intelligence, isn't it? So that would be uh, one of these. Here we go. Yeah. It's not. It's not double. So yeah, get one of those. Great. That's good. That's good. Get some XP. Um. So minus one power, and we move on space, and the crew. It's getting a little bit twitchy, those two bridge crew. Uh, security are, are fine, you know, they, they've seen worse, you know, ex-marines that they are. But uh, the bridge crew, a bunch of tech people, <laughs> like, we didn't sign on for this, Captain, sweating. Although they're not saying that because that would be descent in the ranks. Mutiny, I sniff mutiny. Uh, but uh, they're certainly thinking it. <clears throat> 30. That is a huge success. Okay, we, we, we should make it. Famous last words. And again, the captain's thinking that. He's not saying to the crew, we should make it on, on the comms channel. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be not very good for morale. Right. Did I do minus one power? Probably. Let's do this one. Ah, yeah, we made it. Yeah, I knew we. I knew it all along. I knew we'd make it. There you go. Textbook, textbook. Right. Uh, let's cancel that. Um. So we've got to pay fifty because it's the port phase. Fifty to to dock at the port. Just to get in the door. Uh, to park our ship. Then we've got to refuel and uh, redo everything. So let's do that first. Let's see how much we've got left. Right, so 22 pounds, 220 to get that back up, 220. Uh, so let's get rid of that 300 and take 60, uh, so 80, sorry. Right. right, and then so that's back up to twenty-five. What do you do? Twenty-five, and then we need thirteen fuel. It's one hundred and thirty. Nice and simple. One hundred and thirty. That's uh, one, two. Three, fifty, sixty, seventy. Change. Yeah, uh, hoping I'm not getting that bad. Uh, wrong, even. Yeah, it would be pretty embarrassing if I couldn't even do that. <clears throat> Considering I teach uh, maths, but whatever. <laughs> Believe it or not. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Refueled. Right. How much have we got left? 1,500 and 1,800. So let's, uh, let's say we're going to need all that change for fuel and stuff. So let's say we got 1,500. Yeah. Let's just say that. Um, because I don't like having, I don't like, mind you, we're going to refuel when we get there. Oh, we can sell our stuff before we refuel, can't we? Unless things go terribly wrong. Now, screw it. Let's say we've got 2,800. Now, let's say 1,800. That's it, 1,800. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, let's buy. Let's just check here on the trading guide. Table X, page 105. Trading guide. Um, we're at Artmez. 
Uh, so it's 104, page 104, Art Mester Vinoir. The best profit we can get that isn't smuggling would be tech, which is 40 per ton. So let's buy a bunch of tech. Uh, Sixty-five, sixty-five per unit. How much space have we got left? Ooh. Not much. So let's let's we, we can fill up our our thing with the tech. So uh, twenty-seven. Oh, I've only got three spaces. All right, that's cool. So we get three tech. Oh, there's me worried if I'd have enough money. So, uh, tech three, three tech. Uh, cargo hold is now full. Yep, yeah. and that cost uh, hundred ninety-five. So let's take two hundred. Get five change. Boom! The old uh, head and tails coin. There we go. Because weirdly, uh, poker chips don't come with fives, so that's why we're using that. Anyway, we're ready to uh, to rock and or roll. Cargo hold is full. We're going to make so much money. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'll call it. For as in terms of video, and then I'll just do that a few more times until we've got 30,000. <laughs> so let's do it, let's jump. Woo, what can go wrong? Um, 72, 72, let's do it. 72. Is that a crit? 73. Ah, 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 we fail. We fail. So we're somewhere there. Minus two power. And we roll on the jump thing. Table J. So we were attempting to jump 50 plus, because 55 is the max. We can jump uh, and let's roll, see what happens. That's 17. We roll on the hyper jump event chart and we travel five light years. So that's five, five light years. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, and that's one fuel. Okay, well, at least that's not too bad. But we do have to roll on the H chart. Um, does it? Uh, okay. Oh, okay, starts there. Right. H chart. It doesn't take into account the system modifier, so we just roll straight on the H chart. Let's do it. 51. What have we got? 51. Space Manta. Interesting. The Space Manta flies through space, gorging itself on chemical compounds from a multitude of atmospheres. They are often found on jump lanes, feeding on residual, resi oh, sorry, residual, <laughs> residual, <laughs> I can't speak today, residue, residue fuel particles. I think that's, maybe that should be residual. That's probably why I'm having trouble with it. Residual fuel particles from warp and hyper jump drives. They block safe routes to their 
uh, they block safe routes due to their size. They're huge, which can match that of starships. Wow, they're as big as a starship. The captain's starship has dropped out of hyperjump mode as the forward scanners have picked up a large obstacle blocking the way. <clears throat> Thank you, Bridge Crew, for, for noticing that. You'll get a pay rise. Not. The captain's pilots don't have any pilots. Uh, must now spend valuable power and time navigating around the creature before resetting the navigation computers for the next hyper jump. Minus 1d6 power. <laughs> All right. Which dice shall I use for this? Let's use the purple dice, I think. What do we get? Four. One, two, three, four. Well, that's going to cost. <sighs> All right. But at least it wasn't uh, anything potentially too dangerous. Let's try again. So we're going to roll on the jump chart, hyper jump chart. Chart, not chart. Uh, test. Yeah, we succeed. Minus one power, minus six fuel. And we travel 55, so we've now, we've now traveled 60 light years. Oh, oh, amazing. Right, now let's roll again. Forty one, awesome. That's a success, minus one power, another fifty five light years. So that's uh did it did it did it did it hundred and fifteen. And that's another one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so yeah, we just got one light year to travel. That that those that extra light year just uh, yeah, if they could push that planet, that star system a little bit closer. What is that? That's a failure. One light year and it's a massive failure. One, two. That does mean we roll on the jump chart again. Oh. Okay. We were attempting to travel one light year, just one. So let's put that here. And then let's roll. Let's see what happens. There's no system modifier, is there? Uh, 83. That means uh, zero light year traveled and uh, zero, zero. So nothing happens. We travel zero light years. We spend zero light years of fuel. Yeah, all right, that's fair enough. I did use a power though, so let's try again. 72 or less. Massive success, minus one power, minus one fuel, massive success, massive success. We have made it to the Vinoir system entry point. Kaplung. Awesome. Right. Now we need to make it to the Rebel base, which is one, two. Two in system jumps. So 72 or less. That is a success. Minus one power. We move there. Awesome. Let's try again. Seventy two. Yeah. Minus one power. We finally make it to the real base. It's free entry. There's no docking fees. Which is great. So let's refuel first because I don't. I get twitchy uh, when uh, I don't have any fuel and power. Don't have full tanks. So uh, that's hundred and thirty for the power. Hundred and thirty. One, 
two, three for the full power. 130, back up to 25 power. Right, 14, so 140 for the fuel. Right, let's do uh, 540. Take 400 change. There we are. Uh, so that leaves us with. Thousand four hundred and stuff. Right. And now we're back up to thirty fuel. Awesome. <clears throat> so let's put that there, let's put that there. So we're all good and let's start selling stuff. <clears throat> so we have 12 minerals in Vinoir is uh, 12 times 60 uh, six twelves are Seventy-two, so seven hundred twenty. Seven hundred twenty. If I get that wrong, <clears throat> drop it in the comment below. But yeah, seven hundred twenty for the uh, thing. Um, five, six, seven, one, two. Let's put that, leave that there for a minute. <clears throat> for the uh, minerals. Right, metal is eighty, eighty, eighty times fifteen, eight hundred, one hundred and twenty, one thousand two hundred. He says with full confidence. There we go. <clears throat> right, yeah, sorry about that. I had a tribble in my throat. So um, here we go. Next one, we've got three tech to sell and it's 105 for each one. That's 315. 315. Uh, so one, two, three, ten, fifteen. Okay, let's see how much lovely money we got. Let's clear it and let's empty the empty that first. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> okay. Um <clears throat> Stacking up my chips, always stack your chips, always do it. Always do it. Okay, so we got uh, 1,000, 2,500, 2,600, 3,700. Yeah, that's not bad for one a round trip. Yeah, and we're, we're fully fueled and all ready to go. Right, I'm going to do that. Mm, what's that? Three thousand something. Do that another. Oh, yeah. Let's say ten times. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I'm going to do it another couple of times, and uh, we'll see. I might see if uh, we can. Now I rolled. I. Mm, I did. I rolled the missions, didn't I? No, I didn't roll the missions. No, because if I pick up a mission that's uh, 
doable and in this area of space or something. Anyway, uh, that's it for today, I reckon. Uh, so, unless I get attacked by pirates. So, uh, anyway, bye.